Hi guys, it's me. I'm back. Yeah, I keep showing up. Anyway, Anya Stamper and I, yeah, we're a little crazy. We're part of the Dirty Half Dozen that you may have heard of. Our wonderful friend Valerie from Give Me Living More decided we needed a nickname, and that's what stuck. Anyway, I did a collab with just Valerie the other day, and now I'm doing one with Anya. We started debating colors, and we came up with a combination of black and blue. And I'm going to tag a little silver into it while I'm at it. Now, you might notice that some of the clothing looks real familiar. And that's because I actually did a raft of filming while I was feeling pretty good. And, yeah, I probably overdid it a little bit, but that's one of the chances you take. Um, anyway, I've got my eyebrows done. I've got my foundation on this time. It is Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I gotta try the makeup stick when I get a chance. I have to try the makeup stick. However, I'm going to be using the Sephora Beauty Amplifier as the primer for my lids because, and this is really interesting stuff, I picked this up in one of their Sephora play boxes every so often if I've got a spare tin or something like that I go on Sephora and I order the left one of the leftover boxes if they haven't had any. In this case they had some and this was in it and I'm having fun playing with it. It's definitely different than using one of the um, cream bases because it's just it lays different, it clings different, the, the shadows flow over it differently. So yeah it's 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 interesting. Anyway, let us get to it. Da 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 Got a nice wide brush here. I'm just going to sweep this over the eye, get everything set up. Have myself a lovely time. See, it's definitely changed the color just a bit and the texture just a bit between the eyes. Now, one of the things about this stuff is that it feels really, really silky. And it's just, it's just barely there, but it's literally very silky. And, and I've become kind of enamored of it. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out. Maybe I'll hope another play box has got more of it. I don't remember for sure how much it costs. Okay. Now, some of the colors I'm going to be using, if I don't break them all, I've got my new color pop. This one's called Two Piece. It's a slightly shimmery blue. I'm not going to take the cover off again and try and turn it up because my hands are not working well today. Last thing I need is to pitch it over and lose it. Okay, now, this is an interesting little duochrome that's got kind of a purple shift if you tilt it this way and a blue-green shift going this way. And I'm going to play with this one. And then, I've got this adorable little thing that I did a review on because it was fun because it's called Sultry. But this is one of the gift sets that Profusion does in their sultry line. It's got a nice big mirror. It does come with a brush, but that's already been put in my brush collection. And this one is the Eyes and Cheeks palette, so you've got a little bit of all kinds of things. Now I understand that they've got, that Profusion has got a larger palette called Sultry. I gotta check on my doggy. Hold on. Not that interruption, but 
my poor little dog has got a injury on one leg, which means he is now, now thoroughly tied up in the cone of shame, and he had an itch, and he couldn't get to it, and he objected strenuously. So, now that we've got that took care of, he has now had his itch scratched. One each itch scratch. Anyway, what? Where was I? I was talking about the glitter and glam, sultry cheek and eye. Why did I get it? That's why. That's why. I've also got the glitter and glam um, blush and highlighter palette that they came out with for the same basic reason. It's the blush and bronzer kit. Same basic reason. It was inexpensive. Profusion has been good to me this time. Christmas will be fun. Now, I haven't done a on-camera review of that blush and bronzer palette, but it's pretty spiffy. It feels nice. The colors are nice. So, he's still at it. Shush! Just shush! What? 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 What do you want? Oh, mercy! Dog! Hang in my butt! Now oh, shush! on, just prime the eyes, got the eyebrows on, I've thrown a little powder over the foundation in case I get too much fallout, and I think that's about it. So it's pretty much time to leap in with a brush into some of these colors and do my thing. Now, in the cheek and eye palette, they have this kill him. All right, I'll be back in a minute after I kill him. Dog. Okay, in case anybody thinks that I meant it when I said I was going to kill him, here's the little muff. He's 11 years old. He's what's called an Irish Russell. So let me introduce you to a very short little dog. Yes, his name is Finnegan. Him is adorable. Yes, him is. But him has got the cone of shame on and he's very irritated. Yes, he is. And he keeps debarkins. Yes, he does. Now, I have scritched your leg. Go lay down. I scritched the itchies for you. Go lay down. It's going to take me longer in this video than anything, playing with the dog than anything else. Interesting little creature. It's a whole 10 pounds of fury in that dog. There ain't but 11 pounds of dog, but there's 10 pounds of fury. All right. Now, back again to colors. This color in the cheek and eye palette is called nightlife. Not something that happens much around around this town, but well, it's such a little town. It's like you've got a couple of bars that may stay open past like one o'clock, maybe. But we're not talking about much else that goes on past about 10 or so in this little place. Oh, I'm wrong. The grocery stores are open till 11. <laughs> However, the little place that, that's in town that's called Bymart, where you go to like do small town department store, you know, like miniature Walmart. Um, yeah, that's only open till about nine. Oh, and the closest Walmart? Mm -mm, no. Closest Walmart is 45 minutes away, and it is not a 24-7. No, no, not this place. 
We were tiny. What a community. Da, 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 da. Yeah, our Walmart, which, like I said, it's, it's 45 minutes away in the next town. Well, not exactly the next town. We have a couple of towns twixt here and there that are just about the same size as our little town. And there's one, the very next one, is actually a little bit smaller. They have to come here to go grocery shopping. Or go to the doctor. Or much else. The great big little town of Haynes. And our Walmart is in the bigger town of La Grande. And we get to see interesting things going on the road back and forth betwixt. Occasionally, the things that are interesting don't wait for, you know, much of anything to slow down for. So we've got elk that come through the yard on a regular basis and mule deer and when we're in town. And then we have quails running everywhere around here. Some of the neighborhoods have adopted some of them as pets. And in the spring, it gets real strange out with the, with, with the quails. Next thing you know, running across your yard, you will see a little girl quail running just as hard as she can run. And right behind her is a little boy quail doing his best Pepe Le Pew chase the girl thing. And it's really interesting because she'll run and 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 the next thing you know, they're in the bushes. And she ain't running anymore. The only thing I can think is she wanted some privacy. And I'm going, well, girlfriend, go for it. I mean, you know, a little privacy it can be a good thing. But they just, they're everywhere. Now, I'm an East Coaster by birth. There's a lot of stuff out here in Southeastern Oregon that I have never seen before. Not live, anyway. You know, I've seen pictures and all that kind of stuff. You know, like real Roadrunners, which is a fairly interesting sight. Okay, I'm gonna get my color pop in the shimmery blue called Two Piece. Plain water, guys. Yes, it says it's the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. I keep telling you, I'm on a budget. I save the bottle, I put water in it for this. If I'm gonna spritz things, I don't have the money to replace the setting spray. And no, I'm not gonna get all fancy and do a cream cutting the crease. I'm just not doing it. And you can't make me. This does just fine for what I'm trying to do. It really does. I'm not trying to do like serious cuts and all that manner of thing. Yes, I'm sticking a little of that blue right here under this side of the lower lash line.
now I'm going to do this side and see if I can come close to magic. so far. Yeah. I like my scarf. I really do. It's being obnoxious this evening, but I like my scarf. Knock some more of the blue off of there before I switch. Use my color switch to make a switch. Yes, I'm being a little strange and a little silly. It happens now and again. It's just all about me. If you hang out for very long, you'll get used to it. I'm a little weird. Anybody who hasn't figured that out yet, who's been watching me, I'm sorry. But there you go. <laughs> Let's see. hoping for, but hey, once I zhuzh it up with a little bit of other stuff, we should be rolling just fine. By the way, if nobody knows what you're doing, then whatever you did is not wrong. If you can make it look reasonable, then whatever you did is not wrong. It's the way it works, especially on here. Oh yeah, by the way, in case you ever wonder if YouTubers make mistakes while they're doing their, their makeup and stuff, yelp. Yeah, that current noise is my delightful husband coming into the room and rattling things around. Anybody who's seen the, the my husband does my makeup routine has already figured out that we're hanging in the same room most of the time. It's just the way it is. Anyway, now just to bring in a little silver. Well, maybe a little more silver. I've got this absolutely wonderful, and I do mean wonderful, color in this glitter and glam cheek and eye set. Lovely color. It's called platinum.
nice thing about putting a little powder on, just dust off the fallout. silver on like an eyeliner because having hooded eyes using a powder and kind of faking a wing is a lot easier than trying to put liquid eyeliner on these hooded baby blues of mine. It's just how it is. Anyone else who's got hooded lids, or got the ones that are like really, 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 really creepy, believe me, this is the way to go. A lot less frustration, a lot fewer makeup wipes. You're still basically creating the same shapes. You're just doing it with your powder eye makeup instead of grabbing up either a liquid or a heavy pencil. Eyeliner pencils on crepey lid skin is evil because the crepey skin will grab hold of that pencil and the next thing you know you've got Morris code basically because you're going to have this really skippy line where parts of your eyelid have grabbed on and parts of your eyelid has have said what the hell I don't want this and the pencil will just go bopping along leaving pretty much nothing behind but misery and despair For me to get an eye pencil to work on my creepy eyes, I have to do some of the stuff that they tell you not to do. Like grab your eye and do that. Because if I don't flatten it out, it just goes on its own way, goes wherever it wants to, and I'm stuck having to try and clean up behind an inanimate object. This is not what I consider fun. Now I'm taking a little of the platinum, doing the inner corner thing. And I took a little bit of the platinum and did the brow bone thing. I'm going to run away. I'm going to put on my lashes, throw a little other color at my face, probably even put in put on some lips. We shall see. But this is where we are currently. See you in a minute. Alright, my lovelies, I'm back. A little lip, a little blush, some eyelashes, and some really, really pretty color. I had entirely too much fun doing this. I want to thank Anya for the invitation and for letting me pick colors. Yes, I looked like a silly thing right then. You ought to see me when I do a belly laugh. I got the belly for it. Anyway, my dearest darling, darling dearestes, that's it for this one. Be good.